Hello everyone, this is TracerPixel128. It's been a while since the last uploaded the video. I've been very busy lately, of course. Anyways, here is my updated phone collection for June 13th, 2020. Hasn't really changed much over the last few months, but anyways, let's start off with the basic phones. Starting with, here is an LG Envy. You've seen these phones on the channel before. It's a 2 megapixel camera, has a removable battery. And this is the original model number, but it was called the Envy. And of course, this was a messaging phone. This was the second phone my mom had on Verizon. The first one, the first phone she had was actually a flip phone. <clears throat> now she got back in 2005. Sorry if I sound like this. I'm kind of tired and allergies and whatnot. Here is a Samsung SCH A870. This phone does not power up anymore. The battery died a long time ago and we lost the charger. It's the battery. So it's kind of bulged there. And this is the model number. Remember I loaded some games on here? Like there was a port of the puzzle game Chuzzle as well as a Ratatouille game. This was back in 2007, so yeah. I'm trying to put this back on. Always had trouble putting the back on. There we go. And of course, like most phones at the time, it had a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. Yeah. The next phone is this BlackBerry 8830 World Edition. This was my dad's phone back in the late 2000s. Has a trackball on it, physical keyboard. Yeah, it took micro SD cards and this is the information. The battery is gone because it bulged. This one came in some other colors. I think there is a there's also a silver one and also a red one. Of course, this is the only phone in my collection that was on Altel because that's what my dad had at the time. That's what his company had. Then Verizon bought them and the services got switched over. And here is the LG NV2 that my mom had. Same 2 megapixel camera, which was decent for back then, but it is abysmal by today's standards. And it was also a messaging phone. And I think this was the first phone that we ever got that used micro USB for charging. And this is the micro SD card slot, which comes with a one... Sorry about that, I got interrupted. Uh, where was I? Anyways, I was talking about how small the micro SD card on this thing was. Which was... Which is one gigabyte in size. You can't really put much on that nowadays. <laughs> Next is the LG Accolade. This was my dad's phone back in 2011. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Nothing really special about it. The camera was decent. And then finally, for the basic phones, is the Sharpkin 2M. Which was my mom's phone from around 2011 until March 2013. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, I know this was a failure. My mom got it because of the camera on the back, which was 8 megapixels. It was a decent camera, and it was actually pretty good, but the software issues really dragged this phone down. It's quite unfortunate. Now we're going to move on to smartphones. And here is my collection of smartphones. And yes, these are all Android. I know, I'm biased. Well, we were. Starting with, here is our very first modern smartphone, the Motorola Droid. This was a legendary phone. This was one of the phones that put Android on the map. This was my dad's. He got this back in late 2010, about a year after this phone was released. Because the company he was working with at the time was switching, from, switching over from BlackBerry phones to Android phones. Had a 5 megapixel camera on it, and of course a lot of the earliest Android phones would say with Google on it. 
And of course, this had a slide out keyboard. Yeah, it's kind of mushy, but whatever. Yeah, I would turn this on, but one, it's missing the battery. It's somewhere in my dad's desk. And two, the touchscreen stopped working. Yeah, this phone was infamous, um, where the phone would heat up and it would cause the digitizer to stop working. And I just keep it in the collection as a... a memento. From a long gone era of Android. Next up is the Samsung Galaxy S3. My This was the second phone my dad had. Or the second Android phone my dad had. I still remember he got this back in late November 2012 at Sam's Club for 96 cents. It was that cheap. It was a pre-Black Friday... Bleh. It was a pre-Black Friday event that they had. Yeah. Back when phones still had removable batteries. And this was back when Samsung's phones were still made out of plastic. This is the Verizon variant, of course, in white. This had a case on it, but we lost it. It's been in, it's been in its case all its life, which is the reason why it's in such good shape. This one is rooted. I believe it has Clean ROM 8 on it, and I believe this had Cyanogen mod, or my dad tried to attempt to put it on there. Yeah. And next up is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. You probably remember this phone. This was my camera for a couple of years. And it was my mom's phone. Um, she got it after she got the Kin. She upgraded to this. It still works. The battery is dead. I used this in my last video when I was talking about S-Voice, which is now shut down. Or shut down by now, which is sad. I keep it in the collection for nostalgic reasons. And of course, um, I kind of have a thing for old TouchWiz. I know, I'm a weird person. And of course, this one is the broken one. Which I'm pretty sure I've told the story on the channel before, but I'll make it quick. In September 2013, my mom was chatting with one of her friends. And my brothers and I, we were playing them. Um, and then while she was texting her phone, or texting on her phone, the case separated and it landed face down on the driveway. And that's how it got this crack on the corner. And she was fighting with Verizon for a couple of months until they finally sent her this one in November of that year. Yeah, this is a replacement one. She was hoping it would be refurbished. She was not expecting them to give her a brand new phone, which is what I use as a backup phone. Hence the reason why I put the Ubuntu logo sticker on the back. This phone does not work anymore. It got water damaged. Which is sad, but that's okay. If I remember right, this one is still running Jelly Bean. And this one is still running KitKat. I think this one is running Jelly Bean as well. 4.3 Jelly Bean, 4.1.2, and then 4.4 KitKat. Which is the latest version of Android the Galaxy Note 2 supports. The Galaxy S3 could still can get KitKat if it's the 2 gigabyte model. And as for the Droid, I'm not sure what version of Android this is running. Probably Froyo if I had to guess. And then a year later in 2014, my mom upgraded to the Galaxy Note 4, which is what you may remember from my most viewed YouTube video, where it was about S Voice on this device, and this was this was a pretty good phone for back then. I briefly used this as my backup phone when I had that phone right there. It's currently running Marshmallow, but yeah, it's suffering from boot loop issues, which is unfortunate. But still, it was still a good phone. I also used that as my camera. And next is my beloved Google Pixel and the source of my namesake for this channel. You might, yeah, of course, a lot of people said this phone looks like an iPhone, and I agree, it kind of does. You might imagine there being a home button right there. But this was actually reused from a previous phone that HTC came out with called the HTC 1A9, 
which used a similar case style, except it had a round, well, not a round home button, but a rounded rectangular home button. Kind of similar to what Samsung had on their phones at the time. This one is currently running Android Pie. I loved this phone to death until it unfortunately died last year from the boot loop, from, a, from, boot loop, from getting stuck in a boot loop. Yeah, I was up in the middle of the night looking at random stuff on the internet, which is what I like to do. I backed out, I went back to the home screen and it froze. Then it flashed back on, the, the Google logo flashed on and flashed on the screen. Then it just kept going on and off and on and off and on and off. Just kept going into a boot loop and my dad felt sorry for the phone. And that's when, of course, the Verizon store wasn't open yet. So I had to wait until it was open. And that's how I got my current phone, which I'm using to record this video, the Samsung Galaxy S10e. And finally for the phones, this is my current backup phone, which is the Moto Z Force Droid. And yes, that is a Bayonetta wallpaper. She's one of my favorite characters. This was my mom's phone for a couple of years that she got after she had to return the ill-fated Galaxy Note 7 when that was recalled. It has a pretty nice camera on, a, a camera on it. I usually use this as my camera, but I decided to use my Galaxy S10e as my camera now. So, there you have it. Here is all my phones, but I'm going to also show a few extras. And finally, here are my tablets. Starting with one that I've shown on the channel before, and if you're a longtime viewer, you probably remember this. This is the first generation Google Nexus 7. I still remember the day I got this. It was November 6, 2012. I was 12 years old. And I got this as an early Christmas gift, and I fell in love with it. I used to stay up late watching YouTube videos on this thing and playing stuff like Angry Birds. I was 12, by the way. And I loved it. I even tried using it as a camera, but it was hard to... It was hard to take pictures with this thing because it only had a front camera, and that was only meant for video calls, like on Hangouts and stuff. And it did not have a back camera on it. But the second generation model, which came out a year later, had a back camera. Yeah, this is currently running Android KitKat. It had Lollipop on it, but I flashed it back to KitKat back in January 2019. And that was an interesting process. And then I eventually upgraded from this tablet to this one. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S, the very first model. It was very thin for the time, and it was a very nice tablet. I didn't really use it all that much. I was still using my phone at the time, which was a Galaxy Note 2. I still remember the day I got this. I was sick with the flu, and my dad came home from Best Buy with this tablet, and it, war and it warmed my heart. Yeah. I still keep it around for some things, or my dad would sometimes take this with him when he would go on his business trips. And yeah, the battery is dead, but I still keep it around. And finally, here is my current tablet. The first generation iPad Air. Hold on, let me type in my passcode. This is currently running iOS 12.4.6. Seven, I think I think that's the version of iOS this running yeah I mean it's a pretty nice tablet this was my cousin's by the way he used it for some D&D &D app and then before that I think it belonged to someone else yeah this tablet originally cost $800 when it was new and I got it for free with permission of course here's the back of it like a dent right here and some nicks, but as long as it still works, I'm fine. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and more videos will be coming soon, so stay tuned.